Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a video. Things have been crazy around here as usual. <laughs> so I hope everyone is doing well. It is June, I can't even believe it. My birthday's on the 15th and I'm just like, where is time going? It's a little crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Things of great are just absolutely nutso around here. And um, I haven't done a favorites video in, I guess, since February. So you know, I'll just try to kind of show you some things I've been using lately. My holy grail <laughs> cleanser is this simple foaming cleanser. I've been using this for quite a while. Love this stuff. Um, I find that foaming cleansers are just a lot easier to use than the kind that are like really thick and you have to just rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse. This one, it you know, it's foaming and you just kind of put a little bit and do that and I love it. I mean, I do use like a, make, a makeup removing cloth just to get the excess stuff off first and then I use this and I love it. It's, I have very sensitive skin and this stuff has been, you know, hasn't broken me out, doesn't over dry my skin or anything, I love it. So that's my first one. Um, and I also have, this is fairly new to me. I mean, I've had it for probably a month, but <clears throat> It's this simple cleansing micellar water and this stuff is so nice. Now I haven't tried, you know, using it as just a cleanser with the full face of makeup or anything like that. But what I use it for typically is if I, it's a day where I'm not wearing makeup, at night I will use this instead. I'll just put it on a cotton pad and just go over my face. And I also use it First thing in the morning, I do, a lot of times I don't wash my face twice a day. Um, I do it at night, but sometimes in the morning or during the day when my skin just feels really nasty, um, I'll just put some of this on cotton pad and go over my skin and it's, it's great. It doesn't hurt your eyes. I mean, it's really, really, really great. So love this product. Then when I use the micellar water and sometimes when I use my regular cleanser, I will use the um, Mario Badescu uh, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. So it's just a rose water, um, what do you call it? Spray. It smells really good and it feels really good. So sometimes I use that, especially if I'm just using the micellar water. Um, Usually though, if I'm do, if I'm washing off all the makeup and doing a whole you know cleanser and all of that, I'll use the Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Pore Reducing Toner for normal, oily, or combination skin. I eventually, you know, want to replace my cleanser and moisturizer and use the toner. I want to get into using the Paula's Choice and also the serums. I have the Sano Naturals, the vitamin C, the hyaluronic acid. I'm still gonna use those serums in addition, but I want to get into using more of the Paula's Choice stuff in the cleanser and moisturizer. So right now, the, the moisturizer I'm using, and I also use, um, I use the Olay Regenerist, which is good, but I want something a little, little bit better, so we'll see. Okay, now makeup. One thing I've kind of made that is really cool that I love is this color changer. I don't know if you guys have seen those. I don't even know what they're called. I'll put it here, what the fancy one is called. It's like a $20, $25 color change thing. And what it is, is you, when you're doing your eyeshadow and you want to change your color, you don't want to like do the whole cleansing and all that. You just put it in and swirl it and you can use the next color. So if you use like black eyeshadow on here or something and you want to use pink, you could just go in here, swirl it, swirl it, swirl it, and then 
you won't see anything on there. It's really cool. And all it is is one of these little buns. Um, it's like a bun holder thing. Well, let me go see if you can see it. It's like one of these little bun hoodie bobbers. So that's all it is. And I just had this little box. I just stuck it inside and that's it. So I'll put links to all of this stuff. Okay, and the brush that I'm waving around is one that I really love. It's by um, Beauty Junkies and you can get those on Amazon as well. They have really nice brushes and they're very inexpensive. This one, this one is Pro Crease. There you go. Really nice. Very soft. That's an excellent brush. One that I've been loving a lot. I've been using this mascara, this uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. This is really nice. See here. Um, I only have one of my lights on, sorry. But yeah, it's really, it's kind of like in a telescope package and you know, I have it on my eyes. Let's see if I can get in here. Okay, I'm in trouble. See, I mean, it really does a great job. It really gets in there. I'm loving, loving this. And it doesn't do all the crazy stuff like some mascaras do. This one is not waterproof, um, but I don't find that it makes a mess or anything. And the eyeshadows that I'm really, really loving. I mean, I have, I have quite a few of the ColourPop, but these are some of the, my favorite colors so far this month. This one's called Shop. Look at that, it's such a pretty corally red. Oh, I love the feeling of these things. So pretty, I love it. It's not really, I mean on camera it's not as pretty. It's like an orangey red. I do have that one in the crease today. So I do love shop and then other another favorite is I heart this so pretty I love it oh it's so hard to see in this light I really need to get my other light hooked up but this one's really, it's like a gold, it's very gold, platinum-y, shimmery. And then I've been loving this NYX Cream Blush. This is in the color CB13 Tickled. And this one is a coral and it has like a very slight gold shimmer. Oh, this one's really interesting. I really like it. Um, I think, yeah, this one's my only cr like true cream blush and I really like it. I wanna get some more, but this one is really nice. I'm not really huge into like bronzing and tanning and all that stuff, but I do like to use a little bit of contour. I, I like using the NYX Blush and Taupe. This is the HDB22 taupe. And um, there it is. It's a nice, really cool brown. And I, I am wearing it, but you know what's really hard to say? <laughs> All these things that I'm talking about, I'm wearing today. The lighting's not really showing it very well, but I do like to use that just right in here. As for um, highlights, like up here, I do have a few highlights, and this one I, I tend to reach for a lot. It's the Ulta Illuminating Powder, and I don't see a lot of people talking about this, but it's a really nice product. The color is Yellow Diamond, and um, it's, it is like a, a yellowish, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's really pretty. See, it's really very pretty. 
I like it. And it's not really that expensive, which I like. I think it's, I think it's like eight bucks. I'm not sure, I, I'll link every. Now my favorite, lips. The one I'm wearing right now is my new absolute favorite lippy. I love, love, love it. It is ColourPop Lippy Stick in Topanga. Love this color. This color is so pretty. It's like a corally brown, oh, I don't know. It's like coral and brown. It's, it's just so pretty. I have it on my lips. See, I just, I think it's so pretty. And I don't know if this is um, in their permanent line or if it's a limited edition, but I've really been wearing the heck out of it. I'm thinking I need a couple backups just in case they stop selling this. So guys, it's called Topanga and it is a satin finish. So moisturizing and mm, I just love it. And I, I will, let me just maybe swatch that so you can see the different colors that I'm doing. Uh, this Topanga. Next color that I've been wearing a lot this month in the past couple of months is called, um, it's the L'Oreal, L'Oreal Color Riche number 254 Everbloom. Okay. So pretty. This one is similar, I think, to Topanga. It actually is really similar. No wonder I like it so much. That's crazy. Wait till you guys see this. Topanga's up here and Everbloom is here. And Everbloom seems to be a little on the orangier side. But it's definitely in the same color family. That's, <laughs> that's really interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that until I just swatched them. Okay, next we have... Uh, by Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick Cream, number 435, love that pink. I have a lot of these Revlons, I love these, so pretty. Ooh, getting lipstick in my... And as you can see, it's in kind of in this, oh, ah, in the same color family but it's a little bit pinker definitely seeing a trend here with these colors and then another Revlon super lustrous cream lipstick this one's number 423 in pink velvet and this I'm assuming is gonna be similar okay let's see here okay yeah it is similar that's so funny that I'm like gravitating toward the same colors oh yeah it's a it's a, a little bit, a tad bit mauve pinkier. Okay, this one's gonna be different. This is, this is my last one. This is my last product, and this one's gonna be really different. <laughs> this is Milani, and this is a part of the original collection. And in number 20, Uptown Mauve. Look at that, ooh, yeah. I wouldn't consider this mauve. It it's, uh, strikes me a little funny that they call this mauve. Guys, does that look mauve to you? <laughs> okay, oh my goodness. Oh my heavens, so pretty. So I would call this a fuchsia kind of purpley color. So pretty though. I love it. My husband really likes that one too. All right, guys, that's all I have. I know this is kind of a long video, but you know, I had a few things that I had to show you, so. Aren't they pretty? Look at that, summer, spring goodness. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to link them, and as always, love you guys, God bless. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.